Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Barbecue. My name is Mike, and today I'm gonna make you this beautiful, oversized, ginormous, triple-decker steak fajita quesadilla. That's a lot of words. And we're gonna pair it with a beautiful, creamy cilantro jalapeno dip, and we're gonna do it all right now. Okay, I'm excited to do this. We're gonna do this out on the Camp Chef Griddle today. Do me a favor, settle down, relax, enjoy this video. I'm gonna to try to go through everything step by step. YouTube really likes if you watch the whole video. So if you like me and you like the channel, you wanna support the channel, please settle in. I'll try to get through this as quick as I can while still making it uber delicious. So we need to get started with this cilantro jalapeno dip. And we're gonna do that right now in my Ninja Blender. Okay, so this dip is only five ingredients, but I make it six because I like to add a little bit of black pepper. The first thing we're gonna do is get our cilantro and jalapeno into the Ninja. So I've got a nice bundle of cilantro here, and I've got six jalapenos that I've pretty much just cut the tops off of. Now we're gonna get our top on, and we're just gonna start to kind of break this down before we add our other ingredients. Okay, now comes one cup of mayo. And you know I'm using Duke's. You know I'm using Duke's mayo. One cup of sour cream. One packet of ranch seasoning. And I love black pepper. I'm adding just a little bit of black pepper to this too. Maybe more than a little bit. I'm going to cover it, spin it up. Now we just need to get this into a bowl, cover it up, get it into the fridge, get it chilled. Meanwhile, let's start slicing up some vegetables and get everything ready for this quesadilla. Okay, so we've got our steak all cubed up and ready to go. I'm just gonna drop a little bit of garlic salt on this while I go outside and get the griddle preheated. And I'll get these cameras moved outside. We'll all go out there and we'll make this quesadilla. All right, we're gonna start with a little bit of oil. And now we're gonna get all the veggies on. Now again, just to recap, I've got onion, I've got yellow, red, green bell pepper, some sliced jalapeno, and some tomato. Now I'm just gonna go with some garlic salt here. I like to keep my seasonings very simple on this kind of dish. I don't wanna go with any kind of seasonings that are gonna overpower it. I wanna taste the veggies, I wanna taste the steak. And that cilantro jalapeno dip, as well as some salsa that we'll have at the end are gonna finish off the flavors for us. So we're just gonna keep this simple but do it how you like it. If you like the heat of seasoning or you like anything like that, then by all means, go for it. One more thing I wanna mention here while I've got you. Uh, I wanna thank my buddy Ron over at Backyard Life Gear for sending out this back cover here for this camp chef. Serves as a great splash guard, as a great wind guard. I've enjoyed it on my Blackstone and I really love it on this camp chef too. So this is a little smaller cooking space than the Blackstone. This is a few inches smaller in terms of width, but uh, I still feel like I have enough room here. So it might be a little tight when we're trying to build this because I'm using burrito sized tortillas, but we'll figure that out when we get to it. First thing I want to do is get these veggies all cooked down and kind of get those off to the side. I'm running this whole griddle on low right now because there's four burners here and this is again, this is a more condensed size griddle top. So you don't really need that super high heat. The one thing I will tell you that I've noticed so far between the Blackstone and this is this appears to run hotter because you've got the same amount of burners in a smaller area. So I'm gonna adjust my heat, keep that on low, and I think that's gonna be fine. The only time I use it higher than low is if I'm doing a burger or trying to sear something. Just wanna keep working these beautiful colorful vegetables until we get them the way we want them. Now I just love cooking on a flat top this beautiful char I'm getting on these veggies 
this glorious smell that's coming off of here. And that's not specific to Camp Chef, it's with any flat top griddle. Blackstone's the same way. Just a nice char on the veggies. Okay, these veggies are about 75% the way I want them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off this far right burner and I'm gonna let them finish all the way here on this side. This steak's already got some garlic salt on it. Once I get it spread out, I'll add a little bit more. And this is gonna cook very fast, like always. You just wanna get it separated, give it a chance to go ahead and cook, get a nice sear. The smell is crazy good. All right, a little bit more salt, garlic salt that is. I'm gonna just flip these veggies real quick. Okay, so our steak is cooked. Now it's time to just get all this together and make it nice and happy. You can literally just smell those flavors combined when you put that together on here. Like everything hits together at one time and you, you, can, you can smell it. All right, tortilla number one. Not sure how much I can fill this, so we're gonna just see what happens. Now, let's get our cheese. Okay, I'm gonna get our top one warming up here. All right, we've got a good melt here. We're gonna go ahead and place our first top on. And now it's time for our next layer. I can't believe it. We are going to get all this stuff on here. Let's get our top top on here. And now let's pile that cheese nice and high. See how this is coming along. Very nice. We're almost ready to top this bad boy. All right, here we go. Just pop that up on the top. It's gonna give us some more melt. Then it's time to get this off. I'm gonna have my lovely assistant and camera woman. And here we go, this thing is heavy. So I seriously don't know what to call this triple decker steak fajita quesadilla whatever let's go inside i'm going to put some finishing touches on this we'll cut it open and we'll try it okay so as usual this was totally unnecessary but if i'm going to do it i'm going to do it big and this will probably feed my whole family for lunch and i doubt that we'll have dinner even the only knife i have that's even close to big enough is my old hickory so i'm not trying to mock anyone but i'm going to go ahead and cut this open and we're gonna see how we did here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to be real gentle so I can try to keep this presentable. Okay, it's all cut up. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I just feel like this is gonna fall apart when I pick it up. Let's just see what happens. What do you say? I'm gonna go for this one right here. Look at that. It's just oozing and it stayed together. This is, guys, this smells so good. All right, let's finish this off, okay? Let's do this the right way.
This is crazy. This is huge. Like this, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of stuffed pizza. Uh, if you're from Chicago or if you've ever been to Chicago, you know what it is. It's not deep dish. And a lot of people that do not know the difference, this would be like a stuffed pizza. And it smells delicious. It's beautiful. It's melty. Just look at that. I'll give you a shot from down here. So let's drop some of this salsa right on here. And remember that creamy jalapeno cilantro dip that we made. So let's drizzle some of that right here and on the board. All right, everybody. <laughs> I do this for you guys, you know. Are you ready? I'm gonna take a bite out of each. First one, here we go. Jalapeno, cilantro, it's a little spicy, it's very creamy. Taco Bell, eat your heart out. Cheers. Mm. I have one regret right now. I should have put that inside the quesadilla. I was a little nervous because I didn't know how long it was gonna be on the griddle. And I didn't want it to get weird because it's sour cream and mayo and whatnot. That belongs inside this quesadilla. If you do this and you make this, please put it inside the quesadilla, even if you just do a regular single stack, okay? All right, here we go. Here's our salsa mole. All right, bite number two, here we go. Cheers. My God, man. I love that simple seasoning combination. We're getting our sort of our authentic flavors from our salsa and from our jalapeno cilantro dip. One's very creamy, one's got some spice. Guys, this is crazy good. I mean, I'm not even kidding. I hope you guys are gonna try this. You don't have to do a triple decker. You could even do it on like a soft taco size quesadilla. I went crazy here because I always wanna go big for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this cook and this episode as much as I did. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. Like this video, leave me a nice comment, a nice comment please. Take care, till next time, cheers. I'll see you all on the next episode.